So, welcome back to the last class uh, of our course. I have just uh, kept a PPT uh, with the title conclusion, there are no more slides and uh, I just want to share some concluding uh, thoughts with you. Um, you know we started these classes quite some time back and uh, this was a very uh, unique uh, experience that I am talking to a group of uh, people whom I have not seen, I have no idea about who they are, their background, uh, it include obviously students, uh, teachers and then uh, people who you know prepare for competitive examinations and uh, it could be also others who really want to uh, listen to some of these uh, courses. And uh, this has been a very uh, uh, you know challenging as well as uh, interesting journey for me uh, to introduce uh, uh, you know classical sociological theory uh, right from its very formative period uh, to uh, its uh, concluding time uh, and discussing an array of uh, important uh, theorists and uh, their arguments, their uh, you know their, their contributions and critically evaluating uh, a, a, uh, quite a lot of them and uh, towards the end of the course we also uh, spend some time uh, trying to understand the later developments of uh, Sociological, uh, sociological theory, uh, trying to look at uh, three major theoretical orientations, the connection between methodology and theory and uh, so on. So uh, I uh, genuinely hope that you would have uh, benefited from these classes because uh, sociology as a discipline is an extremely fascinating subject for me and uh, as I remarked in the uh, very introductory uh, video uh, for this course that uh, studying sociology is not only uh, for say clearing a subject or getting or, 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 or clearing a course or getting uh, or, or succeeding in a particular competitive examination but it offers very very interesting fascinating insights about your own personal life and I have found that extremely fascinating and enriching and I am sure that you must have uh, uh, you know experienced the same if you look into the, the context in which sociology emerged, if you look into divergent uh, or, or diverse theoretical arguments and positions adopted by different people, the very aim of sociology uh, to develop a sense of critical thinking and to keep ourselves, I am inviting your attention to the very first class or the very first uh, you know, uh, section about sociological imagination, the difference between common sense and sociology. Okay? It actually offers you a very uh, interesting understanding about one's own life. It, it helps you to locate oneself in a particular historical episode. In, in a historical scale, you will be able to position yourself and then make sense of things that are going around you. And that is a very, very revealing experience. That's a very, very insightful experience. And all the scholars whom we discussed so far, starting with from, uh, you know, Saint Simon, Montesquieu, I'm not counting the names, all these scholars in one way or the other help you uh, to appreciate this question. How are we living in a society and, and uh, what are the ways in which uh, we are constrained? Okay? What are the ways in which we are constrained? What are the alternative ways in which we can live? And uh, you know there are multiple answers within sociology about the whole question of, uh, of freedom and, and, and unfreedom. But somebody who, who, who understands sociology uh, properly, somebody who has the ability to appreciate sociology properly, I am sure that you would have uh, found out the answer that the, 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 the possibilities of freedom for a person to live in a society is endless. The possibility to, to, to live freely uh, in, in alternative ways is, is endless because uh, only our imagination is, is something limiting us. And without breaking any, any, any laws, without uh, you know going against the, a whole lot of other things you, you you will be able to lead very very interesting very very fruitful uh, life and sociological theorization starting from Marx or there came or Weber or Mead they offer very very uh, interesting you know insights about societies that existed then and societies that exist now so now you realize why that uh, certain ideologies are important you understand why certain theorizations were important how we uh, as, a, as a society that was colonized, how we uh, you know began our, our enterprise of studying ourselves. So in that sense, uh, you know, an, an understanding about uh, sociology, 
and especially classical sociology is something very very important because classical sociology is is the body of knowledge that lays foundation or that laid foundation to the to the to the subsequent development for the theory as well as methodology of the discipline and anybody who uh, takes sociology seriously for your under graduate studies or your postgraduate studies or, or, or your you know, higher education including research will find that classical sociological theories are extremely important, they are extremely relevant. It doesn't matter that they have, they lived almost a century back and they died almost a century back, it doesn't matter because they were the people who laid foundation and even now their writings are extremely important for them. And you realize how subsequent theorization emerged and which were which were built on the foundational uh, you know stones of these people how different uh, sociological methodologies evolved and how uh, they again you know reflect back on these foundational stones laid by these scholars so you you cannot really uh, you know uh, be a student of sociologists without uh, understanding and appreciating the classical sociological theory you can't be a practicing sociologist uh, just by looking into the current literature of, soci of sociology that then you are completely mistaken if uh, you know there are certain disciplines which are moving in that direction but uh, without understanding the historical trajectory without understanding the historical and political and intellectual trajectory of a discipline you will not be able to uh, appreciate its current affairs you will not be able to understand its current status current scenario so that is why I would earnestly uh, advise you or, 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 or uh, request you to uh, develop deeper uh, interest in studying uh, sociological theory. It might look uh, you know, abstract, it might look uh, dry, it might look confusing, but, uh, uh, but, but, but essentially they were all talking about our own society. They were all talking about very concrete realities, maybe through slightly difficult uh, you know, uh, terminologies. But then it's only a, a particular way of theorization. And once you uh, master that language, once you understand that approach, then, then, then the field of theory is something very, very uh, interesting. It's, it's extremely rewarding. You will realize that how a solid theoretical grounding is something important. And that is uh, uh, an extremely important uh, you know, resource that you need to develop. The very fact that uh, somebody studies a discipline like sociology, uh, is it, it enables a person to uh, develop a kind of a particular perspective and uh, let me assure you that this perspective is quite different from the knowledge that you amass uh, through various other other means we are living in a uh, you know in, in in the era of information revolution no information is uh, you know out of limit for anybody just on the click of on the computer any amount of information is available for you but the crucial question is, what do you do with the information? How do you make sense of the information? How do you develop certain kind of perspectives on that? And in such scenarios, a discipline like sociology comes as an extremely important resource because sociology has a very unique perspective, theoretical perspective. It offers a particular way of looking at society. It, 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 it offers a particular way of understanding how things are so interconnected, how history plays an important role in deciding the contemporary relevance of certain things. And once you acquire that particular mastery of looking at things through a perspective of sociology, that is extremely important for you. Whether you are uh, you know, uh, listening to this course as a part of your regular uh, class or uh, through uh, you know, for, for uh, some competitive examination, or I don't know what your purposes are, but uh, if you uh, you know develop that kind of a, that 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 sociological imagination that I referred to in the very first week, or sociological consciousness, then that is an extremely important uh, you know uh, Im important resource for anybody, and that provides extremely valuable insights uh, to your own personal life, your own personal life, uh, the, the the understanding about society around you. And that offers you quite a lot of flexibility in order, to, in order to live in this society. Much more clearer understanding of the kind of uh, things that are unfolding around you. And I also genuinely believe that it will also make you better human beings. 
you you get far better clarity on society you get better clarity on how you know uh, how different kind of power structures fashion society in different way and there is nothing inevitable or there's nothing original or there's nothing uh, divine about all these things things can be changed and and you 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 develop a kind of a critical uh, perspective to make sense of uh, all these things and i genuinely hope that it uh, makes you uh, uh, makes you better people uh, along with your uh, you know knowledge about uh, the discipline so uh, i don't have anything more to say i hope you uh, you know you you found the classes uh, useful i hope you uh, appreciate the class i hope you found the classes uh, interesting uh, i could not uh, incorporate some more uh, you know different pedagogical methods because of various other reasons uh, most of the time it was we had only one discussion with uh, uh, one of the uh, professors we had planned some more but uh, we could not do that uh, but otherwise i have tried to incorporate uh, most of the important themes that are usually covered under the uh, under the title uh, classical sociological theory and uh, hope you would have uh, done your uh, you know your, your assessments uh, properly I, i i hope you would have you you have uh, understood and then uh, you know made sense of the the the, the subject matter i genuinely believe that you would have uh, developed some liking and fascination for the subject and that is my ultimate goal uh, of course your marks do matter your scores do matter for me as well as for you but uh, more importantly i would be extremely uh, happy it will be really rewarding for me if i uh, understand that, if, that that you begin to uh, you know develop a likeness or you begin to develop a fascination for the subject and and that will uh, you know uh, encourage you to read further read independently look for more material uh, develop sub, uh, or or identify certain scholars or 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 thinkers as more interesting and that will really uh, help your you know your your future growth as a student or as a as an academic or as a better teacher i i hope that there could be some teachers uh, in this group so you will find uh, that uh, teaching will be more rewarding the moment you begin to love the subject and and uh, and and develop a real interest in the in, in that whole uh, thing so i also hope that uh, so sure, as i mentioned it, it it makes all of us better uh, human beings in this very difficult uh, times so i don't have anything uh, more to say i wish you all uh, the very uh, best of luck i wish you all the very best and uh, see you later thank you